My name is Optopolis. Welcome back to the channel where we explore where no one else has explored before. Today we are at the site of a abandoned Shopka hometown slash Pomida that is in Douglas, Wyoming. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, and here we are at the Shopco hometown slash Pomida. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now up here on the Shopco hometown sign, I notice there is kind of a blue rem remnant from the Pomida, I'm guessing. So this one is not boarded up, but it is for lease, as you'll see the sign. I do want to put a disclaimer that we are only here solely to document this place, nothing more. So that way if something does happen, like it gets demolished, we got the video. This building was built in the late 70s, most likely as a Pomida discount center. It was remodeled in September of 2007, converting to just Pomida. In mid-2012, it finally rebranded into a Shopco hometown. Unfortunately, this store was announced to close in March of 2019, after filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. It closed its doors for the final time on June 18th. So right there you will see a number that you should be able to contact if you want this place. And right here, right away, you can see that there's still a sticker from Shopco. It's a little bit reflective, but you can kind of see in right there. Yep, you can see a shelving through the window. We do have the Shopco cart holders. I'm guessing those are included with it. So that might be a convenience. So it's, uh, it's hard to see because of the glare, but we can kind of look over this way and get a rough, a little bit of a shot in. I can't see how well it looks on camera. So right here, we do have a pharmacy sign, still going strong. Do you have this dumpster here, but looks like it's empty, filled with water in fact. Had Shopco been bought out, this store might well have still been here. But since no buyers came forward, the entire brand shuttered all these stores in 2019. Fortunately, Baumgars would begin the process of opening a new store at this location in 2021, softly opening its doors on May 12th with plans to have a grand opening celebration at the start of June. All right, right there we do have the receiving hours, Monday to Friday, seven to two. Now, I don't even know what the deal is with this alleyway thing. I don't know if it's meant to be driven through or what. I don't know what the deal is with this thing either. It's like they put in a walkway, but it, it's just worn out, but I'm not sure if that's the case. In hindsight, I believe this was mainly intended to be a retaining wall, but the width of the wall does make me wonder if it was also intended to be a footpath, at least at one point. For the most part, there is not very many windows on the side, obviously, but it's still a pretty decent sized building. Definitely bigger than the Torrington shop co. Yeah, that sign looks in good shape. Most of the building looks like it's in pretty decent shape, so it'd be a great place to have a store. 